Hi guys, my name's Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. So today we're going to do a fairly small lazy o haul. I have like four items. I've been wanting to buy from them for a long time, but I just hadn't ever brought myself to spend that much money until this collection. So this isn't going to be your typical pastel, kawaii, adorable lazy o haul, although Japanese and kawaii fashion is a big influence in my own style. I do actually plan on making an entire video about my pastel collection and my different fashion influences. That being said, I have a lot of different styles that influence me, so this haul is not going to really fit into a box. And neither should you. Be how you want to be. Be weird. E. Kawaii. Be a punk. Be. Mm -mm. So I like, you know, bright, fun, pastel, crazy colors, but I also love black. Most of my haul is going to come from the most recent gem release. It's the secondary brand off of Lazy Oaf. They're all under the Lazy Oaf umbrella, but the designer Gemma decided that she wanted to make a more high-end or structured sort of stuff that didn't necessarily fit within the like oversized, slouchy, bright category that Lazy Oaf mostly does. I have two pieces from the new gem collection and I have two pieces from Lazy Oaf. It all comes in these cute little Lazy Oaf plastic baggies. I got the little gem logo with some thumbs up, some flowers, some hearts, the uh, Lazy Oaf eyes. And we'll start with gem. So first off, I got this coat, which is so amazing. I love it so very much. It is this black velvet coat with bright pink on the inside. That is my bright pink. And it is this uh, velvet blazer dress. So, it has some lapels here. The black is so hard to show on camera. It has these uh, double buttons all the way down. Each of them have little hearts on them, golden heart buttons. The lining is a bright pink on the back. There's this crown with a G for gem. And the belt that ties around it has these chains hanging off of it, which I think is a really cool touch. The belt is this little circular velvet belt. One thing that I will say, when I got this, one of these chains had actually this one, I think, had actually uh, fallen apart because I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but these are just kind of pinched together. So if one of them gets a little loose, the rest of them can just fall straight off. But it was a super easy fix. I basically just slipped it through the little slot that was already made in it, and I pinched it together so that it uh, wouldn't come undone again. So it closes. There is a giant zip along the front here. And then one side of buttons is sewn straight to the jacket and the other side works as, uh, you know, actual practical buttons. But I also like how this looks when it's worn just like open. So the second thing that I got from the Gem 3 release is the main reason I made this purchase. Uh, however, when I went on the website, the day that it was released, same day, um, this was sold out except for one size. And that size is way too small for me, but I wanted to get it to show you. So it's this. <sighs> this skirt is so perfect. Have you ever had one of those moments where you're in the middle of saying something and you knew what you were about to say, but then the word just like floats out of your head? That just happened to me. But I think I know what I'm saying. Maybe, sort of, tell me if the wording is wrong because I just tried my best. I literally left the room and asked my husband and it happened to him. 
as well. Like, I feel like that always happens. Like, when you ask someone else, they're like, oh, I know this, and then you can see it leave their eyes as well. But anyway, I was trying to say that this skirt is lovely. It ticks off all my boxes. Is that the phrasing? I don't know. But it's this beautiful bright pink. It's got this adorable little heart buckle. Hearts are my thing. It's this really great faux leather. It's high-waisted. It's got this asymmetrical detail. It's just generally moto-esque. Like, I love this skirt and I am hoping that they restock it in a size that will fit me because this is not, is not gonna fit this. I ripped it out of the package and just like put it on my body hoping for a miracle, but no, it was like wide open. This is a size 26 and that's, uh, I'm too, I'm too thick for that. So, so I might try to return this. Hopefully the shipping isn't terrible. Otherwise, I might put it on like Poshmark or Depop, something like that. So, my username on both of those is underscore Barbie Punk. Moving on to the main label, which is Lazy Oaf. I got this in a size small or small medium. And this is something else that I had been eyeing for such a long time. It is this chunky, oversized pink and red knit cardigan with life is hard <laughs> in black lettering printed on the back in kind of like a felty felty sort of material it spoke to me that's how i feel so i bought it and it's a really great quality knit really fun funky. I'm gonna say cable knit, but I don't know what that actually means. It has pockets, it's really slouchy, it's really comfy and warm, and I love it. Big red and pink stripes. The little detailing on the buttons, little red round buttons, is that they all say Lazy Oaf on them. I just love how, I'm gonna say cheeky, but that's not super a thing in the US, but I love how cheeky the little phrases are on all of the Lazy Oaf clothing. Like, it's like sassy and, you know, kind of, um, I feel like, I feel like it's a little sarcastic. I feel like it's a little nihilistic. So I'm, I'm all about that. The last Lazy Oaf item that I got, I actually purchased off of Doll's Kill, and it is this big oversized long sleeve dress. I got it during the sale. Again, hopefully I've been putting up prices. I think that racer style or like moto style has been kind of in lately. So this has kind of got some of that flair, but with an adorable twist. It's got the black and white checkers that have been everywhere because of the racing details. But on the Lazy Oaf, it has little hearts. So that just runs along the sleeves which are both pink and then the main body of the dress is black it zips all the way down has a heart on the left side that says an embroidered heart on the left side that says lazy on it and the zip again i love this detail that lazy oaf does the zip pull is a heart i forgot to mention that this one has pockets And the back has this big embroidered circle with a heart that says lazy, mirroring the one that was on the front as well. All right guys, that is all I have for this little Lazy Oaf mini haul. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Lazy Oaf pieces are. And let me know what you think about the distinction between the gem brand and then the main sort of Lazy Oaf label. And don't forget to like it, subscribe it, bop it, twist it, pass it, and don't ask questions, just go with it.